since September 2017, OEMs must type approve newly launched vehicles according to the more realistic Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure or WLTP. This replaces the outdated new European Driving Cycle or NEDC. From September 2018 onwards, the WLTP applies to existing models too, meaning they have to be remeasured according to the new, more realistic protocol. That inevitably means an increase in fuel consumption and therefore CO2 emissions. Consultancies estimate the difference at 25 to 30 percent. This would translate into higher taxes and therefore a competitive disadvantage for new cars via the older NEDC type approved cars. That is why Europe developed the so-called Compass Correlation Method as a transitional measure between September 2017 and January 2019. This method converts the WLTP value to a correlated NEDC value. This way, there should be no competitive disadvantage and consumers can compare newer WLTP cars with older NEDC cars on an equal basis, at least in theory. Together with WLTP, the EU introduced the RDE or Real Driving Emissions Test. This to ensure that emissions measured in real-life conditions do not deviate dramatically from the ones registered in the lab, as was often the case before. Car makers must resort to technical modifications, including AdBlue for diesels, to effectively limit NOx emissions. In most cases, petrol engines now need particular filters to comply. That means technical modifications and engine recalibrations, which could lead to a higher fuel consumption and hence CO2 emissions.